Greetings everyone, welcome to ENE Learning Hub, where I'm going to go through and explain the solution for, for a radio receiver question. Before I begin, I'm going to ask those of you who have not yet subscribed to the channel to do so, to like the videos and share the videos with others, especially those who are doing CSEC electrical. All right, so let's begin. So this is question 10 from the 2007 pass paper. It says figure seven shows a blood diagram of a super heterodyne radio receiver. So this is figure seven, the blood diagram of a super heterodyne radio receiver. All right, so part A, it says in your answer booklet, write the numbers one, two, three, four, five, and six. Beside each number, write the name of the block of the receiver. Number one, that's the RF amplifier. Number two, that is the local oscillator. Number three, that's the mixer. Number four, that's the IF amplifier. Number five, that's the detector. And number six, the AF amplifier. So that's it for part A. For part B, it says state the main function of each of the blocks labeled one, two, three, four. All right, so for one, that's the RF amplifier. The RF power amplifier is a type of electronic amplifier that converts a low power radio frequency signal into a higher power signal. Number two, the local oscillator. This is used to generate a frequency that is used to mix with the carrier frequency. The value of the frequency generated is 455 kilohertz. This frequency is called intermediate frequency, IF. Number three, that's the mixer. It is used to combine the carrier frequency with the generated frequency of 455 kilohertz. Number four, the IF amplifier. So this amplifier is used to amplify the signal coming from the mixer stage before it is passed on to the detector. All right, so I'm going to explain the other stages as well. Number five, the detector. It separates the modulating signal from the AM signal. Number six, the AF amplifier. This stage is used to amplify the audio signal to raise its level. All right, so that's it for part B. Part C, it says calculate the wavelength for an electromagnetic wave with a frequency of 30 gigahertz. So wavelength is equal to the velocity of the wavelength divided by frequency. For radio waves, the velocity is 300 million meter per second. And why for the formula here, we have 300 million divided by 30 million, which was given here, the 30 gigahertz. So wavelength is equal to 300 million meter per second divided by 30 million Hertz. That will give us 10 meter. All right, so that's it for part C and that's it for this question.